Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashum, Yahushai Bashum, Rarachak Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David, scattered all the four corners of the earth. And you know it's bad when your lectures are starting to look like a task force investigation meeting. You know, when you have, uh, you know, law enforcement behind the scenes and they're having some little uh, council meeting on, you know, investigations on, you know, different um, criminals and suspects and they'll have the uh, database files pulled up and they go into the information and the history on each suspect or the leader of some gang, street gang or, or a criminal organization. Well, that's what this kind of reminds me of when I, you know, look at this video. You know, what you see in this video, you'll see him, you know, he's going to go um, into, you know, each different one West camp. And he'll have, you know, the, the pictures of their group, you know, up on the screen. And, you know, give a little brief history and, you know, mention a little um, remark. You know, some type of contemptuous uh, remark against, you know, each group. Now, this is why I always compare this dude to Haman. Because, you know, Haman, he was a complete enemy of the Jews. That he even sought out an occasion to plot the extermination of our people. But uh, we know that his plot failed and... It ended up backfiring on him, and that's why the scriptures say, Whoso diggeth for pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. So if you roll a boulder down on others, it'll crush you instead. And that's what happened to Haman. All right, he, he, his, his uh plot to, the, to to get us destroyed, it, it was it was foiled. It got thwarted off by uh Queen Esther. And we know um her uncle Mordecai was the one who pretty much saved uh, the king's life. You know, when he um, mentioned to her that there was two eunuchs that was plotting to uh, assassinate uh, King Ahasuerus or Xerxes. So when he, when she told the king and he found out, um, he actually promoted Mordecai. And she also revealed that. Haman intended to, uh, you know, get him and, and, and the rest of the Jews exterminated. So, yeah, let's just say <laughs> what he intended to do to us, it happened to his ass. And that's what I see happening with um, Bocab. Everything that he's doing against the Hebrew Israelites is only going to backfire on him. All right, it's, it's, it's not going to um, it's not going to work out in his in his favor. OK, so anyway, I'll play just a little bit of it so y'all can, you know, watch it. And then um, I'm going to get a few precepts. Because even though he's given us publicity. Really, he's still furthering um, the gospel because everybody that watches him. They're going to also turn around and watch us. And people are gonna people that that have sense. They're gonna do their own thorough investigation. They're gonna do their own research. All right. So continue to give us the publicity, because you can't do nothing against the truth before it. So let's uh, listen real quick. Equivalent to a congregation. Let's look at some of the camps. These are one West camps first, and I'll explain what that means later. Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. There's the commanding General Yohanna, claims to be second only to Christ. If you guys saw recently in Texas, his group went down to the Texas border and made the news because they brought truckloads of food uh, to the Haitians and preached to them Hebrew Israelism. The other man is Captain Tazariak, who's a regular on Sanetta TV, if you've ever seen that. Next one, please. Israel United in Christ. They're known for large marches throughout cities whenever they have their men's conference. 
And uh, the last one, they had about 1,000 people march through the street. They've done this in Memphis. They've done this in South Chicago. Gathering of Christ Church, I mentioned them earlier in regards to Fantasia. There's Raqqa in the middle, Elder Raqqa. Great Millstone, they're famous with a discussion they had with Poe Light, if you all know Poe Light, where they said in the kingdom they will get 12-year-old girls. Uh, and Tahar, the man in the middle, who I've debated in Morningside Park in Harlem, is the one who was saying that, if you've seen that video. Sakari, as I mentioned earlier, probably one of the fastest growing besides IUIC. They're not the largest, but they are growing uh, and one of the, the most dangerous. For example, the Ten Commandments. Think about the Ten Commandments. They think none of them apply if the person's not an Israelite. So you can steal from Walmart. You can lie to a Chinese man. You can uh, have relations with women of other nations as long as they're not an Israelite. It's not fornication because they're not even a, a, a it's almost like they're not a person. The list goes on and on about how it doesn't apply. Now let's go to the non-One West camps. So you see what he's doing. All right, they got us in different classifications. And then he's, you know, just mentioning things about each camp, you know, just to, um, you know, put disdain and, and contempt, you know, within the minds of these uh, of these simple Israelites that, that don't know any better, that don't know their true identity. And that's how the, that's how the serpent is going to come, man. That's, this is what the serpent does. All right? But, um, you know, it just uh, makes me think about how determined he is to actually destroy what's being built. All right. See, the Mosai, he's uh, building the tabernacle of David. And this is something that the Heavenly Father ordained. All right. You coming against that, you only are, are, are putting yourself in uh, the Mosai's bullseye. Okay, because you can't stop what the Heavenly Father intends. This is all according to prophecy. Now, the way he's presenting us is like he's, you know, giving a, a evil report. And which really, when you read into what would happen to us as a people, as a curse, we would be actually an infamy of the people. All right. We will be a people that, you know, the rest of the nations will speak evil against. They will put you, we will be put out in, in a bad light. All right, so let, let's get a, a couple of scriptures on that. Um, one in Ezekiel and the other in uh, Lamentations. I just want to get that real quick. And that's how you know that we're the children of Israel. All right, because now we're standing back up and we're returning back to our identity and our heritage and standing up for righteousness we're calling our people to repentance now all of a sudden it's a problem you know but he's not going to point out all right the the atrocities and the, the the evil wicked counsels of his uh you know his his overlords and and, and the globalists i'm talking about the people that run this current world that claim to be the, the the chosen people. All the evil that they're doing, he's not gonna make one video about. The conspiracy of, of you know depopulation, all right, uh to, to 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 merge man with machine, transhumanism, which is all a satanic agenda, he's not gonna say nothing about that. He's not gonna say nothing about, you know, a lot of uh uh, children or that have been harmed from those uh potions that that everybody was coerced and intimidated into uh taking he's not going to talk about nothing the small hats and and the evil shit that you read in the talmud the things that they believe he's not going to do a, a, a the same type of lecture all right posting their images and the things that they do he's not going to post a picture of a a, a small hat uh, giving fellatio to a, a, a newborn baby. All right, because they, 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 in their custom, you can actually uh, circumcise a male child and, 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 and mutilate them with your mouth. 
oral oral uh, circumcision. He's not going to put that up. All right. Or any other ethnic group out there outside of us that claims the identity of being a, 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 a Jew. That's fine. But the moment we stand up, the moment we reclaim our identity. Now it's the end of the world. Now, you know, we're the we're the blame for all the evils in the world. And we got to be put to a stop. That nothing, only Satan, only the devil. But anyway, let's get the other uh, verses that I've mentioned. Lamentations three, verse forty-five and forty-six. It says, "Thou hast made us as the offscoring, and refuse in the midst of the people. All our enemies have opened their mouths against us." All right, and you know this is a uh, vocab. He's he's a main enemy. A hey, uh, Haman. He was an enemy of the Jews. And he opened his mouth up against us. He even wrote a letter to the king, uh, Xerxes, who was, you know, he was king of, of Persia. And uh, he put a lot of evil, malicious things about us in that letter. Concerning uh, the Jews. All right. To give the, the, the people of, of the world a bad taste about the Jews. And he intended to get us wiped out. It's no different than what vocab is trying to do today. All right. When, like, like when, when an Israelite uh, or a person that identifies as an Israelite or has some type of content that insinuates that he believes in the, the Israelite ideology, if he goes out and do a crime, he's going to attach it to the whole Hebrew Israelite faith that we're responsible. We're the blame because of what we teach. All right, and, and and that's pretty much sending signals, you know, to uh the agencies, the FBI, the CIA, who who's who currently and have been investigating the Israelites. So we we we've been privy to this devil, man. We've been you know paying attention, close attention to him since he came on the scene. All right, we were. That's why we call him Agent or uh, Riser or Reaser, whatever his uh, name is. And he's a small hat, by the way. His 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 mother on his uh, father's side. All right, he's one of them. That's why you never will hear him say anything about them. Okay. So anyway, uh, Ezekiel thirty six and verse uh, three, and it says, "Therefore I prophesy and say." Thus saith the Lord power, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. And currently our land is un under the possession of the heathen. All right, mainly the small has the Idumians, and you got Ishmael and um, uh, Cush over there, but you also got some of our people, remnants of them scattered amongst them over there. But it's swallowed up of the heathen right now. They occupy that land, and it's all type of filth and idolatry going on. All right, it says, and you are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. And that's what we are. We're an infamy of the people, man. But we're an infamy in, in the mouth of a uh, vocab. So when you look up that word infamy, And it says, the state of being well known for some bad quality or deed. Right? And that's how we're presented. Right, we're never presented, you know, as a, you know, pr pr productive citizens, you know, men who, who, who have a belief system, you know, men that are devoted, or right, men that are uh, passionate. They say that we're part of a cult. And which, when you look up the true meaning of cult, cult just means worship. And the way we worship the Lord is we serve Him. It's a it's a service. We labor. We work for Him. The the, the ministry is like unto agricultural work. Okay, well, we plow. We we till the ground. We sow the seed. And you water it. That's what we're doing. Putting our hands to the plow, man. And, and converting uh, many brothers and sisters, all right, out of this wicked, evil world, 
all right, into uh, the light of, of this truth, the gospel. All right, so some of the synonyms, it says notoriety, uh, dis disrepute, disreputableness, ill repute, ill fame. All right, loss of reputation, disgrace, discredit, and that's what he's doing up there. God, God uh, you know, all of our different uh, groups, the different Israelite groups, you know, on the screen, and he's just, all he's doing is just discrediting them based on remarks that was, you know, or a statement that was said, all right, so on and so forth. Uh, shame, dishonor. All right, so we're we're a shame, a dishonor among the people. Are right, censured, uh, blame. You know, and we're we're to blame for for the world's evils right now. He could be talking about anything that's going on in the world, especially regarding prophecy. All right, the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy, but he refused to touch on what's going on prophetically. Instead, we're talking about us is more important. All right, all these different uh, scandals, these pedophile priests, all right, uh, 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 Disney, all the pedoph pedophilia going on with that, these these uh, laws that are being passed to groom up your children and then sexual perverseness. He, there's not one video, but instead, we're the talk. So this fits right on bill with what the scriptures say we're an infamy of the people okay so he's supposed to do what he's doing he's an enemy of righteousness all right and and you know the scriptures say whoso uh dig of a pit shall fall therein and he that rolleth a stone it will return upon him so whatever you think you you're going to do you know or what you have in your mind to happen to us is going to come back upon you eventually. All right? Because you're a, hey, that's why I believe you're Haman. Okay? He tried to roll that boulder down on us and it crushed him instead. All right? And you're dealing with a burdensome stone. Anybody that, 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 uh, that burdens themselves with it going to be ground to, to powder, man. That's why anything that you putting out, all these videos, these series of videos that you getting ready to premiere all throughout the week, you know, challenging and going into every uh, teaching that we teach, calling yourself trying to debunk or dispel it. We're going to take what you put out and we're going to grind it to powder. How about that? Because this is hey, this is spiritual warfare. And you're and, and you you're you're on the side of Satan. Are right, we wrestling that against flesh and blood, man? The, 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 um, even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right, the war, the, the, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual, and we're breaking down every stronghold that came from that demonic, satanic religion called Christianity. All right. So anyway. Let me get this in uh, Esther. And that's why I'm going to always refer to you as Haman. Now, you might not have, you know, went to the same extent, you know, where he actually had gallows built and wanted to get the whole entire nation, you know, lynched. But, you know, you are what you're doing is you're trying to cut us off from being a people. You know, you know, when we the moment we come back to our heritage and identify as Israelites. Now all of a sudden we're cold, we're we're this, we're that. All right, we're extremists. Basically, you're calling us terrorists. So, what you're doing is no different than what Haman did. This is uh, Esther three, and verse um. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, in the first month, that is the month Nisan, in the 12th year of King Ahasuerus, they cast Pur, that is the lot, before Haman from day to day and from month to month to dwell, to, like it, to the 12th month, that is the month Adar, 
And Haman said to King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all people. And you can hear him, he's discussing how, you know, certain things that, you know, uh, these different uh, heads of the different Israelite camps have said, especially um, when he highlighted what Apostle Tahar said. Apostle Tahar was explaining out of the law, all right, how in the ancient world, um, men were able to uh, take women when they hit puberty because that was a sign of sexual maturity. That means that they their body was ready and developed to start having children. So that meant that they were uh, ready for marriage. And that was an ancient custom. And you and all nations uh, did that. It wasn't until this this you know this modern form of uh you know Christianity and, and the ways of living that that came about. That you know you have to be 18 and, and or 20 and no, back in the ancient world, it was right in in their teens, you know, when they hit uh, when they reached puberty, and your and your your grandparents and great grandparents understood that they married young. That was all the Apostle Tar was basically saying. He said, "In the kingdom, it's going to go back to the way it used to be." So he took what the Apostle Tar said and he demonized them. So that means that the whole. GMS camp is, is discredited based off that statement. But he's trying to make it appear as if, you know, we're pedophiles and, and, and rapists. That's why he said what he said. So it was it was all malicious. So him putting the evil report out is just like when Haman tried to put the evil report out about uh the Jews to the to the king. I right, made it seem like we were we were basically getting ready to uh, rebel, you know, form some type of a uh, revolution or something. When when all in all, he was planning to to, to take the king's seat because he knew about those uh, eunuchs that was going to try to uh, assassinate King ah Ahasuerus. And he was just going to wait in line and, and 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 let that happen so he can. You know, sit on the throne and be king, but Mordecai and his uh, niece, uh, Queen Esther, they thought at that. So anyway, continuing on, it says, "Neither keep they the king's laws; therefore, it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. If it please the king, let let it be written that they may be destroyed, and I will pay ten thousand talents of silver to their hands." of those that have the charge of the business and to bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hamidatha, the Agagite, the Jew's enemy. All right. So he, he, he pretty much, you know, had to mention that, you know, this is a people that defies your commands, your laws, and they have their own law that they keep. So they live in a completely different manner than how you live. So they're a threat. And that's how he presented us, just like vocab tries to pre present us now. To make our own people, you know, look at us with the evil eye and the rest of the, uh, the people. And this is the serpent. So let's go to uh, the addition of Esther. <clears throat> let's go to um, <clears throat> the 13th uh, chapter. All right, and it says, uh, verse 1, the copy of the letters was this. The great king Artaxerxes writeth these things to the provinces and governors that are under him from India unto Ethiopia in 107 and 20 provinces. After that, I became Lord over many nations and had dominion over the whole world, not lifted up with presumption of my authority, but carrying myself always with equity and mildness. I propose to settle my subjects continually in a quiet life and making my kingdom peaceable and open for a passage to the utmost coast to renew peace 
which is desired of all men. Now, when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Haman, that excelled in wisdom among us and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom, declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world, there was scattered a certain malicious people, right? That had laws contrary to all nations. Because, you know, he, but these Christians teach you that, you know, we're not supposed to keep the law, right? Because the Lord did away with it. You're not supposed to keep it. And they really, they, they think scorn of our law. The laws are, 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 are pretty much grievous to them. So when we teach, when we tell our people to keep the commandments to the best of your ability, you know, we're some cult that's, that's trying to, you know, brainwash people and, you know, tell them to, to, to keep commandments, you know, that's basically what they sound like. All right. And, and. They would have said they would have said the same thing about our Lord. Because he wasn't of the world either. It says he continually despised the commandments of kings, so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by us cannot go forward. Seeing then we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men, differing in a strange manner of their laws, and evil affected to affected to our state, working all the mischief. They can that our kingdom may not be firmly established. All right. So we're basically we're the problem. You know, we're the holder. We're the threat. But this was before uh, the Lord used Queen Esther to turn the heart of the king from from, you know, thinking this. She told him the truth. And that anger was then turned against this same devil who tried to set us up. It says, therefore, we have we commanded that all they that are signified in writing unto you by Haman is ordained over, like, yeah, over, ordained over the affairs and is next unto us. Shall all with their wives and children be utterly destroyed by the sword of their enemies without all mercy and pity the 14th day of the 12th month, a dar of this present year. That they who have old and now are also now also are malicious may in one day with violence go into the grave and so after hereafter cause our affairs to be well settled and without trouble. All right. So that was the, the counsel against us. But the Heavenly Father, you know, he 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 looked down to us and uh he delivered us. All right. Let's get our Psalms 9 and 16. And it says, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hagian Salah. All right. So when you try to intend harm and, you know, you present us in a malicious fat in a malicious fashion just know that the most high sees it all right so you're not gonna you you're not gonna prosper at all in your endeavors and you might be able to fool the simple that that believes you but the very elect won't be deceived by your tactics All right. And we and, and also we can't forget, you know, they spoke evil of our Lord, too. And even the apostles, you know, they, they, they all had they were all an infamy of the people. That's real quick. Let's go to first Corinthians. Four. Yeah, first Corinthians four, verse nine, it says, for I think that. The most I have set forth us, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world. All right, and, and you can see that. They like putting us on projector, screen projectors, and got audiences, you know, looking. So we're like a spectacle, man. 
It says, to angels and to men, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but you are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. Even until this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place and labor working with our hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, all right, being slandered, you know, the defamation of our character, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world and are, are the offscoring of all things unto this day, all right. Look up off screen. <clears throat> and the word is Strong's G four thousand sixty seven. Peripsema. 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 And it says, What is wiped off, dirt rubbed off, off scoring, scrapings. You know, basically like something you you like when you uh when gum is is up under your shoe and you try to you know smear it off your shoe you try to rub your rub your shoe against the curb to get the gum off but that's that's what we're looked at all right that's how we're we're seen in the eyes of our enemies whether it, whether it's our own people or whether it's uh the heathen that's how they see us all right so it comes with the territory, and the Lord said, "If um, let me get let me get that." Is that John fifteen? Is uh, John fifteen and uh, eighteen? It says, "If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you." If you were of the world, the world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If you have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. All right, so it is what it is, man. So I don't want to go into that, man, because... You know the things that he had to say and how he's presenting us in these lectures you know it, it just looked like it looked malicious you know so i'm gonna end off with that i'm gonna give all praise glory and honor to you about shy and to the next lesson shalom